chances. We'll kick it off for the last time in Pizza Hut Stadium here in the Madden NFL 20 Classic in Arlington, Texas. And I, and I get to find out early if this run defense was fluke or for real, because Mo gets the ball and you already know he's going right back into his run plays. And he probably wants to know too, is this fluke or do you really have run D? We'll set everything up. Coaching adjustments, audibles, you name it. Five minute quarters, 40 second play clock. Cowboys v Cowboys. First time all tournament, single back bunch out of Mo. He is in the white cowboy uniforms. Henry in the dark navy, same uniform combinations we saw last time out. And Elliott, there's the arm bar. That's what he needed. He's on his horse, the 30, 20, 10. Welcome back, Serious Mo. Oh, man, and when Ezekiel, when Ezekiel Elliott gets that stiff arm and is on that breakaway speed, he's not just on any horse. That's like being on Seabiscuit. And that's a way to bounce back if you're serious, Mo. Look at the competitors, they're loving it. Greedy in the crowd, Bugs. Well, you wondered if he would finally get an arm bar. He answered you early, Mike. Yeah, I mean, like I said, and, and shout to Mo, he went now. I'm trying to figure out, he's just setting his audibles while he, this is smart, man. I do this online, actually, if he's doing what I think. Just setting his audibles. Who cares if you take a delay right here on an extra point? You don't want to delay in a game, though. And you guys think of everything. I, I would never do that. Yeah, that's 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 smart. Why not? That's that's smart. I like that. I'm a nerd, man. You gotta understand. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with getting in the nerd cave when it comes to Madden. One play, 75 yards, RG. That was a huge, huge play for Serious Mo. Get himself some much-needed momentum after kind of having a dud first championship game. Oh, strip. And now he has a chance to really capture some momentum if he can get a stop on young Hunt Henry. Let's see how the youngin responds to some adversity. Well, Henry has lived up to the hype. Look at that stage. Look at that crowd. Look at the Madden Classic. I mean, when Sirius Mo last won a belt, Henry was 12. <laughs> God, that makes me feel old. <laughs> wow. Wasn't even a teenager yet. Oh, geez. 16 years old. Oh, my gosh. Don't and now that. you got to answer. <laughs> Bo <laughs> with the I lead. I can see Mike's face right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be saying stuff like that. Sorry about that. Sorry. There we are. Pizza Hut Stadium. We play to win. I've been meaning. Real quick in the chat, I, I promised I would ask it at some point, seeing as we're in Pizza Hut Stadium, we're always asking the ones and the twos, give me your go-to topping in the chat when you're ordering from Pizza Hut. I better see a lot of pineapple in there. I can't stand pineapple. On That's it for Pizza Talk for me. I'm back in championship <laughs> form, but I just had to ask the chat one one time. Yep. Oh, Red Scott is picked yes, up sir. by Sirius Mo. Come on, Xavier Woods. The 77 overall from Louisiana Tech. Former Bulldog stepping in and Man, got picking alert. it off. The we got baited. The resiliency of Zachary Dallas Lane, a.k.a. Serious Mo. This is a young man that's committed himself to being one of the best Madden players, if not the best Madden player in the world. And he's got the type of attitude where he'll stop at nothing until that job's done. Inside zone guru for eight oh. yards, second oh. and two. Bo is coming out in the single back bunch. I've never, I haven't seen him do this all tournament. You don't think this guy made an adjustment in his head between games? Yeah, this. Uh-oh. Uh Elliot uh -oh. getting to the edge. Xavier Woods can't make the tackle. Arm bar forces him out. Seven yard line. He's almost hit the century mark on three carries. And, and we talked about this. This is big for Mo. His, his offense isn't good playing from behind. So, him establishing this momentum early is huge for him. The good news for Henry is he has a better passing attack than we've seen from other Cowboys users. And Elliott, Mike, have you figured out why does he come out under center, then goes to the shotgun? Because Henry would does when he when you see single back bunch, 
I mean, you just you, you, you can't really dollar it because the toss is so good. Yeah. So he's come out in 3-4. So then Mo knows that the single back bunch toss is backed by 3-4. So then he audibles into different runs. The chess match. And Arash. This will be big if you're Henry right here. You would love to hold Mo to three, and this is a big third down. If you can stop him here, you got to assume Mo's going to have to take that three. This is a big momentum play in this game right here. I'm tossing it, trying to get busy. There it is. There it is. Skim, skim Romo. And, and so what? Yeah, I lost a bunch of yards. I'm going to take my three and go up two possessions, but if I get an arm bar, I might be out of there. Should he milk this whole game clock, or is it too, the whole play clock here, Mike, or is it too early? Doesn't. He's going to kick it away. Cooper Rush with a hold. It's up and it's good. Come on. I'm surprised Mo doesn't, doesn't milk that clock. I, the way as explosive as Henry is on offense, I, I'd be looking to take as much of this game away as I could. But there's, oh, a, reason oh, that he's oh, there. there's a strip. Uh, he got out of the animation with the RB because he broke a tackle and left himself wide open for anything. RB's not bulletproof, that's for sure. 10 nothing. Boy has serious Mo come out. Swinging here in the final game of the Classic. With pocket presence, it doesn't matter. That's good pocket by Henry, even better coverage and pass rush by Mo. Talked about it early in the uh -oh. tournament. No. And I still think that belt that serious Mo won against you in 16. I think it's still in Problems Garage. Uh, that's, that was what I heard. That's the I last heard. place we knew where it was. <laughs> yeah. Just because he, you know, we got to get him TSA pre or something to get this belt home if he happens to win it. Prescott fires to the outside. That's and it. Tavon that's out of the 41. And I'm just going to say it. Mo just patted his chest. You know why? I promise you, it's because it's Byron Jones. He's doing his stuff right now. He didn't have Byron Jones on the wide side of bunch for that. Because if Byron Jones out there, he might yick it. He pounds his chest and said, that's me. Well, Henry needs a, some points here. Trying to make it a one-score game. He looks calm. Down wow. by 10. Oh, he and broke Prescott the sack. He's got with the shed, and he's going deep to Amari. And Cooper will score. And Mo can't believe it. I know that's a tough break if you mow, but that's one of the risks of trying to get pressure with those DBs this year. Those quarterbacks will break that sack. It's a very unfortunate break, but it does happen, and now Mo's got to respond to some adversity himself. The that's chat tough... is going bonkers. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're going nuts. That was that was unlucky. That, that's rough. That's a tough, that's a tough break if you're Mo. But he's he's in good, good, good. I mean, he's up three. He's in. He's trying to see answer. what DB that is. Well, he stops with Woods too. Exactly. He thought yeah. he had the sack, and he d stops running with his user. You know what sucks? Because you know you kind of got cheated, and then you're gonna say, "Well, I shouldn't have stopped it. Stop my lurk, anyways." Got to play to the whistle. Oh, oh! And now he's just angry. Mo. Working his way to the 33. We're still in the first. This might be the longest first quarter yeah. we've had all tournament. I agree. Second and one. And how about Henry? Usually when I break a sack in this game, I, I, I'm so flustered and messed up that I don't know what to do with that. Oh. Henry knew exactly what User to do with it. Oh, Mo. Still. Moving oh, those so legs. Lucky, bro. Like, what's going on? God damn, Henry. Henry's like, you talking to me, bro? He doesn't want to talk I'm to me. I'm not talking it. to you. I'm going to play. I'm not having it. Yeah, Henry. And that might be a little game shit for Mo trying to, like, talk to him. Get out of this mode you're in. Like, hey, look, think about something else besides how good you're kind of playing. To Henry's credit, he's not biting. Look at the top right of your screen. He's locked in. Serious Mo's locked in. They know what's at stake here. Hand it off to uh -oh. Zeke. Ooh. One of my favorite ones is last year. You, you know, you've already done your kick and you're holding it, and then you're talking to him. Don't block my kick. Let's just don't block each other's kicks. And then when he looks over, you yeah. let it go. You're looking at him, looking at the controller. As soon as he looks at you, I think done. that's the ghost special. 
Second and 16, 4.30 to go in the half. How about them Cowboys? They have been a force here in Arlington, Texas. The matted NFL 20 Classic and Zeke again. Oh, almost. Vander Esch. That's what it takes to get him down. He's averaging 13 yards a carry. If I'm Mo, I'm passing here. I don't want to throw a pick, but if I take a sack and don't fumble, I'm still in field goal range with this kicker. I just don't need to roll back. I need to have a good pocket. So, ah, uh, I don't know. That's just me speaking. And I think Zeke might be a little tired. No heavy breathing back there for number 21. But he will put Dak in the shotgun. Trips to the left, third and seven. Somebody's got to get out there. It's a pass. Someone's got to get out there. It's a pick. And he just takes a shot, knowing he's got the field goal. Ah, that's good. How about that's that out route underneath, right? But you don't throw that, though. That, that could have been a pick, easily could have been a pick. Oh, he might have missed this. No. It's up. What's it's that? moving to the right, but it'll just sneak inside. That's that cool. right upright. He, he's fortunate right there. He, he was pretty far off of that accuracy meter. This Madden, even in competitive mode and all Madden, it is pretty friendly to you if you do not hit it accurate. I, I'm not going to lie. That, that was pretty friendly, Skim. And Pollard will lay down in the fetal position to move it to the 25. Well, time to see some experience. I think RG always calls me out of this, or Scott does when I play. He needs to, he, he gets the ball at half. He needs to milk the clock and beat and score last, but do you milk having a passing offense? Well, here we go with this. And there is Elliott. Do not have let Mo have any time unless you just have that free touchdown. Look at chaos. He looks on. Uh-oh. Zeke. Uh-oh. In the plus territory at the 43-yard line. Three minutes to go here in the first half. This is for everything. Championship belt on the line, 35 grand. We'll go to the winner. Spinning with our arm bar. Oh, fuck. I, I know he likes, you know, the spin move, and it's got him a touchdown, but I'm just... I'm spamming it. I'm throwing my A maker. I gotta know who his mutt running back is. It's gotta be somebody with it, jukebox or, or Marcus Allen with somebody. He's got someone that has everything. <laughs> well, Marcus Allen then. Yeah. <laughs> Just about. Second and nine now at the two minute warning. Prescott, quick throw to the outside. There's the tight end. It's going to be a third and one. Bo with a six-point lead. He's on defense right now in those white cowboy uniforms. And we'll hand it off to Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Henry. And with the extra point, he can take the lead. Great drive by Henry. I mean, like I said, oh, take the fuck. touchdown if it's there. But here's the thing. Mo has plenty of time. I think he has all his timeouts. I mean, it only takes is one run to pop off. So if you're Mo, put it together. Even if you just get three, just get points right here. I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed by Henry. You come out in this game, Mo comes out like lightning, scoring a touchdown, forces you into a turnover. It's looking like it's going to be an all day, a long day. And now here goes Henry capturing the lead before the half is over. This young man is the real deal, regardless of what happens here. And you know what? We're going to have a great story either way. You're either going to have your youngest belt winner of all time, or you're going to have Serious Mo getting his second ever belt, being on top of the competitive Madden scene once again. If you don't Let's know see whose story plays out. Mo's story over the last four years. Madden 16 won a belt, as we set out in San Francisco. Oh, my. Lost his father just a few years ago. Let's see if Henry calls a timeout right here, wanting the ball. Really? He does. Yeah, Mo plays with a heavy heart. hero. It's a heavy heart here. Uh, if he wins this belt, there's going to be a lot of motion come out of Zach Lane. Third and 12. 44 seconds to go. 
Henry called a timeout. He wants this ball. Sometimes you think, do I want to get greedy? Because what if he pops one off and now I call a timeout for him? You know, this is, this, that was a, a difficult probably timeout to call. He got stuck on him. Prescott. Rolling. Oh, my God. B is still open. Uh oh, and that's going to throw a pick. Oh, oh my he has to do it. What a grab at the 44. And that's field goal range. That's a fortunate play right there for Mo. What can he do with it, though? Prescott hands it off to Elliott. Wow. Sorry, Brown. Hey, exactly what I was talking about. Henry called a timeout. I understand he wants ball. You have him a long third down. Mo hasn't shown he's got, you know, a pass play just right off the rip. Mo was looking to just clock that off and maybe run it one more time and just be done. And, and real quick, credit to Henry. I mean, look at this. He, he gives up a tough play that, you know, you, you don't usually see that as a catch. And he's not frustrated. He's not angry. He's locking in, blowing up runs in the backfield. Hurries up and goes for it. Now he'll call timeout. It'll be officially a 58-yarder to give him the lead before the half. How big has this kicker been? This is big. Moe's had some trouble kicking, too. Let's see how he does on this one. That's perfect. That's money. It's up, and it is good for the lead. Mo up two here at the half. It's been a great game. Like I said, that end of the half was just crazy. Henry wants the timeout. He wants the ball. Mo makes a heck of a play. You know, this year, linebackers don't animate every time, even if the ball's kind of right at you. And that's what happened. He went and just caught it right on his face. The good news for Henry is he does have the ball here to start the third quarter. And he'll start his drive at the 27-yard line. Regular teams to open up the first Madden Major of Madden 20 here in Arlington, Texas. So we've seen some good games here at Pizza Hut Stadium. Got the will. And Cooper! Swerved them off. That little swerve. Actually, I don't think he swerved him off because that's really not a thing. I think Mo thought he was going to be on his free safety or strong, strong safety on the right and was going to go over there and make a play. And it clicked him on his corner and took him out of bounds. And Elliott will carry a few down to the 23. That's a first down. Six carries for 82 yards. And he's back to the line again. Already in field goal range. Prescott, three-man rush, and he gets there. It's going to be a loss of one. Second down for the 24. Just outside the red zone, trailing by two. Yep. And he goes to Cobb. Can Cobb pick up the first down? It's going to be close. Just shy here on third down. I like this offense. He's doing a motion over drag with a high-low read with the post on the right. This fullback dive has been money for him with Zeke. Let's see if Mo can find defense for it. And he will go there. And he won't find defense. What he'll find is a first down Yeah, I, Henry at the 9. I'm going to say, man, that looked like it could have been touched. I'd no huddle and see if you can get one. That's exactly what he did here. Skim is going to go right back to it. And this time he'll hand it to Pollard. Oh, gosh. Why not Zeke? That ain't it, Chief. Second and goal. Coming up on two minutes to go in the quarter. He's already burned three minutes of the third. Zeke spins, spins again. And they mark him down at the four. And here we go, no huddle again. Does he have a dot? Or is he cool taking? Yep. He's going to give it to Zeke. Zeke will plunge it in. Wow. And that'll give him the lead. Back and forth, back and forth. One player gets momentum, the other one fights right back, and it's just been a plays. seesaw battle. Eight plays, three minutes, 15 seconds, but he ran like five plays in the last 30 seconds. That hurry up. Let's just say this again. His first final ever, he's 16 freaking years old, and he looks composed. Very composed. As anyone I've ever seen on the big stage. He does. He does. There's Mama Henry right there. <laughs> Crowd Giving a little smile, smile. Yeah, oh, you know, that's just awesome stuff. And The thing you said might be a testament to that woman right there. 
Yeah, Mama a Henry. strong woman right there, probably. Yeah. Yeah, she, she must be very proud, as she should be, because this young man is putting on a show. But here comes Sirius Mo. Henry from Chicago, Illinois. Sirius Mo from Ohio. Oh, oh Daniel Arbar, and he's off to the races. 40, 30, will they catch him? They won't. Mo it. will take the lead. We're in a heavyweight matchup right now. Oh, man. McGregor Diaz, Gotti Ward. Going for two? Serious Mo and Young Henry. <laughs> yeah, you well, he's going for it. Trying to make it a field goal game with a 127 to go in the third. And he will go to Zeke. And Zeke will wow, not Wow, defense. That is he huge. Denied. That's huge, Coltrane. One point game. How about Zeke for Mo here in this second game? He did nothing in the first game, and now he's rushed for 210 yards. It was, it was honestly the same run defense as the first. Like right here, it looks like he stopped around the line of scrimmage, maybe three-yard gain if we make a tackle there. See you. Nope, one arm bar and you're gone. That's what I was talking about with Mo. Don't be afraid, because if you just get that one person to miss, there's no one else left there to get you. Oh, man. I, like I said, it's just a seesaw battle is what I call this game. It's just back and forth. Right when you think someone's going to pull away with the momentum, the other player responds. And you don't want it. Ooh, and you don't want it any other way here on Championship Sunday with the Madden Classic belt on the line as Mama Henry looks on. What a shot. That was Xavier Woods with a big hit. Actually going to credit... Crawford with the tackle. You notice Moe's gone to a nickel normal now for Sponge. Prescott. That's wide open. He's got it. God, these kids love this swerve technique on the wheel, man. I don't know. Baby Volterax moves going on here. Man, I don't know who came up with that, but he seems tough. First and 10. Back down at field goal range. Trailing by just a single point. This might be the last play in the oh, third yeah. quarter. And Zeke Elliott trying to get to the end zone. But it's going to be a first and 10 when we come back. I think that's actually going to be first and goal. Yeah, and for Mo, this is Henry. Oh, and he's got Zeke activated. Here we go. Um, he couldn't clock him because he, he just got two bigger plays all the time. And Zeke wow. can't make a man miss. And for the last time in this Madden Classic tournament, put your fours up in the chat. Averaging nearly 10 yards a carry. Like RG said, it's fourth quarter time here in Arlington. What's the dot? What is the dot? We are four minutes and 32 seconds away from crowning a champion. Here to open the season, the earliest we've ever had a tournament in Madden. We normally start in October. And this has been absolutely fabulous with the NFL season kicking off just next week. And there is Ezekiel Elliott. That run stick, I'm telling you what he does. He goes into the line so the defense will come and then he bounces it out. It sets up the, the blocking so they'll get sucked in and they'll have a good seal. I, I can't wait to when we show that again because I just want to talk about the run stick was so good right there. Good breakdown right there from our own. Now he'll go for Romo. two. And he'll give it to Zeke, and the difference is, is he gets it. And now it's a seven-point lead with 4.12 to go. Oh, man, the atmosphere in here is electric. They are buzzing out there on the floor. The players are buzzing up there on the main stage. This is what it's all right about. Here. Cuts up right here, and then bounces it left to set up his block, man. I can't say that enough. Well, we love having Skim up here. He just notices those little things, those little details, gives us that professional insight from one of the greatest Madden players of all time. 100th year of the NFL. Here goes Mosef. Oh my. These Cowboys have been real, real tough. 17 carries for 226, two scores. Sometimes this happens offline. The play clock is always going to go to 20 seconds for some reason. I don't know why it does this offline, but notice, like, he's not even, it's not even a runoff. It'll just go to 20 seconds. Accelerated certainly off. And 
their seat. It's been an offline thing for Madden in years. Uh, Accelerate will be off, but for some reason just triggers or something in the second half, and uh, this clock should go to 20 again. He's got Zeke activated. He needs a big run. Second and seven. Three minutes to go. Will we have the youngest champion ever at 16 years old? Or will Mo get a second belt? He's on the edge. We've got players falling down. And Zeke can't put on the afterburners. He's caught in the 16. Heck of a run. Blocks were great. We've got players falling down. Look at all these guys. we got the belt winner up here. Those guys won. Three belts combined. Kurtobin, Pavin, Andrini. Everyone represented from a year ago. I couldn't get in that pick. You can go down there if you want. Oh, Pollard gets loose. And with the PAT, oh, we're going to be tied at 29. And Mo says, one stop. It's, does Henry, a 16-year-old, have a money drive in him for the game? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we go. I'm nervous online in a game that doesn't matter with 2.16 to go, and it's tied. This is for 35 grand. And look at that shot. You got cameramen in your face. You got a crowd out there watching on. Tons of implication, like you said, Scott. Boy, you know those Woo. palms are sweating. Look at it again. Pollard, he's been a factor. Great spell back for the Cowboys. Yeah, unbelievable. Great blocking. Just everything was good. Great play call. This is what the kids nowadays call a sweaty. It's real sweaty. Probably going to be the two-minute warning, second and seven. And I don't blame Henry here for getting locked in on this sweep. But I am curious if when he does, I feel like he will try to pet. Here it is, the mesh post with the motion over drag. The crazy thing is all he has to do is get to the 44-yard line. Good tackle. This is huge. It's this is a huge play. field goal range that could become a factor here late. This is a huge play if you're Mo. If you can get a stop right here, you could really put the pressure on Henry. Prescott needs two. He tries it's to get out of there, sack. and he won't. Fender Esch with a sack. This is it. Fourth and six. This is it. Clock Everyone's is moving. Up. Here we He's go. going for it. Everyone's on their feet. They're going nuts in this place. The whole crowd, the whole building's on their feet. They're moving close to the stage. I, I, I'm looking for the motion over slant out of RB with a mesh post concept. Fourth and six. He's going for it. Trying to keep the drive alive and win his first belt. Prescott, no! Oh, oh, Mo's got what him! About? Quinn what with a sack! Clutch this motherfucker doing this shit! Mo amped with 59 seconds to go. Everything was bagged, nothing was open. First and 10. A first down would be huge. Got him, got him. And he's got the first one free ability active. And Zeke says, give me that. And he lays down so smartly. Oh, Diabolical. The X Factor himself, Ezekiel Elliott in the zone. Might have just secured Sirius Mo his second belt. Is that not vintage Mo? That's vintage Mo. Oh, when you need to defense to stop. It looks like he gets it. Boy, Henry's done. I'd make him kick it. You got to make him kick it if you're Henry. I mean, it's going to be, I mean, 35 grand to the winner, but this is a $10,000 kick. And if 10 you're, G's. If you're Henry right now, you have no reason to hang your head low at all. You exceeded all expectations. You gave one of the best Madden. Players of all time, more than he could handle, took him to a game two. Wow. You guys have seen an instant classic here at the tournament that shares the same name. And he'll wind this down, call timeout, and he'll try to win the game. His second belt, four years apart for Sirius Mo. And here's a timeout. And if you're Henry, I mean, he still has to make the kick. I mean, he almost missed, which was a long field goal, but the accuracy wasn't perfect. 
this Perfect. for the belt and 35 grand. Serious Mo is back at the top of the mountain four years later from winning it in Madden 16. He has come all the way back. What a journey, what a grind for Zach Lane. The man from Ohio comes to Dallas and gets it done. Let's head to Rico Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Madden NFL community, let's hear it for your champion of the Madden NFL 20 Classic, presented by Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew, Sirius Mo! And there he is, finally. Mo is back, and Madden will never be the same. The top five argument, forget about it. Top three player of all time, serious Mo. Yeah, man, he won the first belt. Now he just won this one. Man, that's 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 got to be a great feeling out there after what people have been saying and all this stuff. And now he's back on top. The emotions. I talked about the grind. Talked about the journey. He loses the first game in the grand final, but double elimination for the first time as his friend. He comes back and kicks a game-winning field goal to win the championship, and Rico is with the champ. Thanks, guys. Zach, congratulations. Take us through the first game. You didn't come out the way you wanted to, and now you got here. Man, um, like I was saying after the Young Kiv game, you know, we play, we play a lot. We, we bar no secrets, and um, I actually found this run D for, for my run plays. You know, and I was, I was more afraid of a lot of people were going to be running the same offense as me, so I wanted to get my guys ready. And, you know, Henry, uh, right before he played uh, Joke, I told him, you know, if you flip that play with, with, with their motion, you know, the guy's going to follow. It's going to play better defense. And he was doing that versus me, and I had absolutely no idea. I didn't think he was going to stop my runs. And he stopped him, and, you know, I got flooded immediately. And then the second game, I mean, that's why I consider myself one of the best players. And, you know, a lot of, may, maybe, maybe I'm not, you know what I mean? But that was just straight freestyle. You know, that was just raw Madden skill, like how I won that game. And, uh, and, that, and that's the truth. You know, I have never ran any of those plays. I've been, I ran that game. Like, I was just completely freestyling. And, you know, I, I got to stop finally. I, I couldn't stop the run. Stop the run. I knew I, knew I had an idea what I wanted to do. Uh, and it, it worked out. I executed. And, man, such a relief, man. Uh, you know, the bell is cool. You know, the money is cool. But the, I kind of feel like I, lo I lost the respect to my peers. And, I, and I, I'm glad I can get that back now. Now, you've been playing with a chip on your shoulder. You're talking about the fact you felt like you lost respect to your peers. To come back, to get your second belt, it's been an emotional time for you. What does this all mean to you? Man, this is everything. Uh, you know, I, I really wanted to do this for True Boy. You know, our, our crew is the, the A1A boys, and, you know, I, I'm glad I could get it done in, in his name, man. Uh, and, and, man, I, you know, I love this game. I love this community, and I... You know, I think, I think that kind of gets confused just because of how I am. I'm so, I'm so direct and so honest with people that it kind of rubs in the wrong way. But I, I really love this community. I love everything about this game. And, you know, the, like I said, this community, when, when I lost my dad, this community held me down. When we lost our two brothers, this community held me down. And, uh, yeah, I just want to let everybody know, man, I, I love y'all and thank you for the support. You made the Madden community proud. I'm sure your friends and everybody are proud. Congratulations, Mo. Fellas, back to you. Thanks so much, Rico. Now that's a champion right there. That talks about the road that it took to get all the way back to win your second belt after losing his father and his best friend, True Boy. And he did it in maybe not the fashion he wanted to do it. It took a loss, and he talked about, Mike, that it was raw Madden talent. He just relied on everything inside of him all those years of playing to lead him to this championship. Yeah, and before I get into what he did in a second, like I said earlier, I think he was the perfect player to represent this title this year. I mean, his inter his interview afterwards was freaking perfect. But going into that game, he I, I noticed the first thing he did was come out and single back bunch. I said, what is he doing? <laughs> you know, Crib's a touchdown. And then he starts audible and out a single back bunch. So his other good run plays, Crib touchdown. So it really does show he did freestyle. That was That was actually really nice to see. I mean, I, I just ha hats off to Mo, and it's just a great example of if someone puts their mind to something, they can accomplish it. This is a young man who's 
set out to be one of, if not the best Madden players in the world. He's sought through tons of adversity. Uh, there's been times where he's probably doubted himself. He's had other people's doubt it. But he keeps on believing. He keeps on trucking. And that's why he gets the results that he has. That young man right there, he's all hot. The crazy thing is he didn't know if he was even going to come. They were, you know, him 